this video is in the continuation of the previous video where we have solved the first five questions of may june 2019 9790963 that is the probability and statistics one here we are going to solve the last two questions that is sixth and seventh so the sixth question is a fair five-sided spinner has sides numbered as one 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 two and three a fair three-sided spinner has sides number one two and three both spinners are spun once and the score is the product the product of the numbers on the sides the spinners land on we need to draw the probability distribution table for the score so what are the possible score first of all we will notice we can see the score is a product of the numbers so here the numbers are one two three so at most the it, at least it is going to be one because one into one is one and at most it is 3 into 3 that is 9 so in between 1 into 2 would be 2 1 into 3 it is going to be 3 2 into 2 it is going to be 4 and 2 into 3 it is going to be 6 and 3 into 3 it is 9 so these are the only possible score so for the distribution table we are going to take this as x 1 2 3 4 5 is not possible so it will not write 6 and 9 so now let's calculate their corresponding probabilities so when we can get 1 1 is and when the numbers on the 5 sided spinner comes 1 and 3 sided spinner also is 1 so if it comes 1 it means 1 and 1 in both so for 1 in the first spinner 5 sided spinner it is 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 into 1 in the case of second spinner that is 1 over 3 so it become 3 over 15 now let's talk about 2 2 can be uh, like 1 into 2 or first one it is 2 and second one it is 1 then only the product would be 2 so the probability that in first five sided spinner it is 1 that is going to be 3 by 5 and in the second it is 2 so it is 1 by 3 because all the numbers are coming once in the five three sided spinner similarly for 2 in the second uh, first spinner it is going to be 1 over 5 and 1 in the second it is going to be 1 over 3 so either this or this so we are going to add it 3 by 15 plus 1 by 15 it is 4 over 15 now comes 3 the product would be 3 if 1 comes on the first one and 3 on the second one or 3 on the second one and the 1 and uh, 3 on the first one and 1 on the second one so let's calculate its corresponding probability 1 on the first is 3 by 5 3 on the second is 1 over 3 and 3 on the first is 1 over 5 and 1 on the second is 1 over 3 so it is going to be 3 by 15 plus 1 by 15 so again 4 over 15 similarly for 4 it can be 2 and 2 this is the only possibility so 2 from first it is 1 by 5 it is 1 by 3 so 1 over 15 for 6 it is going to be 2 and 3 or 3 and 2 so 1 by 5 into 1 by 3 here 1 by 5 into 1 by 3 so it is going to be 2 by 15 and for 9 it is 3 into 3 so 1 by 5 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 15 so this is the probability distribution for the score I hope it is clear let's do the second part of this question is the second part find the mean and the variance of the score so mean and variance will calculate from the distribution table so let me bring it here here is the distribution table now mean is going to be mean is if you take this as x so mean is actually the expectation of x here so that is going to be the number into its corresponding probability again sum the number into its corresponding 
probability Sim similarly for all the other numbers so this we will calculate and it, it is we can see everywhere we have the denominator as 15 so you write 15 and here it is 3 plus 4 2 is 8 plus 3 4 is 12 plus 4 plus 6 2 is 12 and plus 9 so altogether it is going to be 3 12 and 9 and then it is 39 and then it is 48 so 48 over 15 so the mean is going to be 48 over 15 we can simplify it also because it's it can be uh, divided by 3 so 3 16 3 is a 48 and 3 5 3 is a 15 so we can say either 48 over 15 or 16 over 5 and or in the or its decimal equivalent that is 3.5 so 3.2 now the variance variance uh, variance is going to be expectation of x square minus square of expectation so we are going to calculate similarly for the expectation of x square and it means everywhere it is going to be 1 square 2 square 3 square and it's corresponding calculate this this is going to be total upon 15 and this is 3 it is 16 this is 9 4 the 36 it is 16 it is 36 into 272 and plus 81 into 1 that is 81 minus 48 over 15 whole square and this is going to be 3 16 3 19 and we'll add them add them all and then we are going to solve it it is going to be 224 minus 15 over uh, minus fi uh, over 15 minus 48 over 15 square and we will solve this and we will get the variance and this value is 352 over 75 5 from the calculator or we can write its decimal value as well three decimal place uh, correct to three significant figure it is going to be 4.69 so this is the variance i hope it is clear let's do the next part of this question Here is the third part find the probability that the score is greater than the mean score so since the score is x so we can write this thing as probability of x is greater than mean score that is expectation of x and we have calculated the value of expectation and it was 48 over 15 40 48 over 15 or we can write it as probability of x greater than 3.2 in decimal now since it is a discrete value for x value for x greater than 3.2 we let me bring the distribution table here once so here is the distribution table greater than 3.2 means we have uh, 4 6 and 9 so the probability is going to be 1 over 15 2 over 15 and plus 1 over 15 that is going to be 4 over 15 so that is the probability that the score is greater than the mean score number seven that is the last question of this paper the time in minutes the times in minutes taken by 13 pupils at each of the two schools in cro cross country race are recorded in timetable uh, table below the Thatis school all 13 values and white Fay park school all in all the 13 values the question one is draw a back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram to illustrate these times with theta school on left so theta school on left so we can write it here ts as for theta school and wps for white fay park school and then we will draw the back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram so we need to draw like that so we'll see the least value from uh, in from where it starts it is 38 
and these data are in ascending order so 38 so it is going to be starting with 3 and end with maximum values in 80s so it is going to be 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so we can write the key here the key would be if I'm taking 40 let's say uh, any value we can take let me take uh, 42 and 3 here so it means this means 43 43 minutes for TS and 42 minutes for WPS so let's mark these values here and they the values are already in the ascending order so it is very easy to mark you always start from this 3 38 so it is going to be 8 43 so 43 here 48 so 8 52 so 2 54 4 and 56 6 and 57 also 7 and 8 2 times so 8 and 8 and in 60s it is 1 2 62 and 66 and in 70s it is only 75 for WPS it is starting from 45 so we will not write anything here 45 so 5 here and 47 so 7 in 50s it is 3 6 and 6 in 60s it is 1 4 6 9 and in 70s it is 73 so 3 5 8 and in 80s it is 83 so that is the stem and leaf diagram back to back because in with the same stem we have both the values so that's it let's have the second part of this question is the second part find the interquartile range of times for pupils at theta school so we know the data's total number of data's are 13 so first of all we'll find the median that is q2 so q2 is going to be 13 plus 1 divided by 2 that is seventh value seventh value and once we decide the mid value then we can find the uh, mid of the one half left half and mid of the second half for the q1 and q3 respectively so let's calculate q1 and q3 from the stem and leaf diagram for theta school so here this seventh value is 1 2 3 uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seventh value means this is going to be the median median now this median divides the total 13 or 13 data into two equal parts one side it is 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 another side also there are six values so we will find the mid value of these two so we can calculate from here this is going to be the median so 57 is the median now we'll find the mid value of first half and mid value of the second half so we can see this first and similarly for this again six values so mid value will lie in between these two so here it would be the q1 lower quartile and here would be the upper quartile so 48 and 52 and 61 and 62 so for q1 it is going to be 48 plus 52 upon 2 and let me write q seventh value it was 57 and this half of it is going to be 50 so q1 is 50 similarly for q3 it was 61 and 62 half of it mid value of these two and we can see it is 61.5 so interquartile range iqr is going to be q3 minus q1 that is 61.5 minus 50 that is 11.5 so i guess it is okay let's do the last part for that the times taken by pupils at white free park school are denoted by x minutes 
find the values of sigma x minus 60 whole square so let me bring the data for whitefish park school here's the data for all 13 students pupils now we want to get the square of it so first of all we are, we are going to get this x minus 60 so we will subtract 60 from all means this is going to be x minus 60 here so we can make a table 45 minus 60 is minus 15 47 minus 60 is minus 13 and 53 minus 60 is minus 7 56 minus 60 is minus 4 similarly minus 4 here it is 1 3. Now we will take the square of all these values and we will cal calculate the sigma of x minus 60 whole square. We will add them all. So 15 square 225, 13 square 169, 7 square minus 7 square it is 49, minus 4 square it is going to be 16, again 16, then 1, then 16, then 16 and then 36 then 81 then 13 square 169 and then plus 15 square 225 plus 18 square 324 and plus 23 square 529 so we'll add them all and that is going to be the sigma of x minus 60 whole square and the answer is 118 five six so that is the sigma of x minus 60 square let's do the last part fourth part it is given that sigma of x minus 60 is 46 use this result together with your answer to part 3 that is 1856 to find the variance of x so we know that variance of x is same as if you subtract any of subtract or add anything because variance will not change by adding anything so variance of x minus 60 and this is this is expectation of x minus 60 square that is going to be summation of x minus 60 whole square upon n upon n here minus and we know that n is 13 so we'll write 13 here upon 13 minus mean that is expectation of expectation of x minus 60 over n whole square so let's calculate this this value is 1856 over 13 minus this is 46 over 13 whole square now we will calculate this by calculator and the answer is going to be 1856 into 13 minus 2116 over 13 square that is 169 and this and this value is exactly 130. So I hope it is clear. So that's it for this video. That was the last question of this paper. I hope it was of some help. Thank you so much.